Okay, um, we're doing some, I'm gonna just really testing out this live right now. We're using that Wi-Fi booster again. Um, this time we have it out here in the shop. So this is just, actually it's a cell phone booster. It's not a Wi-Fi booster. We're, everything we're doing is over uh, the cell phone Wi-Fi. So hopefully this is working here in the shop. When I tried to do this day before yesterday, it did not work. So if you, if the quality looks good, the picture looks good and the streaming quality is good, if you'll let me know, that would be great. Um, so we do have that transmission out of here. Um, and if I move it around, hopefully it'll still stay good. So I'm gonna pan this way real quick. <laughs> so that's the little tiny four speed spicer that came out of there. And that is the ginormous V730 that's getting ready to go in there. So one person said they had a problem with it. Anybody else having problems or no? I don't want to do it live if it's going to be terrible. I'll just record it and do it later. Um, make sure it's still green over there. So a couple things that we had to do here. Um, we had to cut out the, the bulkhead on the bottom. So over here, this whole section has to be removed because the V730 is much deeper and it goes further in that way. We still have to cut out a hole in that bulkhead over there, enlarge it so that the V730 can go into it. Um, Kelly's gonna be reading comments on the phone. So if somebody has a question, she might be able to ask it or uh, somebody's being an idiot, she can delete them. Uh, this is what Kelly had to come and bring down to us. I don't know if this, you can see this or not. It's an adapter ring. It's about three inches wide, and it's the same shape as the bell housing. We gotta do a little modification on it. This will go in there. What that does is it brings the transmission out this way because it's longer at the V angle because you know, it comes this way and then goes that way. It needs to, in order to clear that corner, it had to be brought out more this way. So this whole ring right here, which is pretty rare. I just happen to have had it in my private collection at home, saving it for the perfect job. And this one's got it. Um, we also have some other fab work to do. Okay, someone's asking if they're, you're absolutely sure that's a good transmission before you do all the work. I have absolutely no idea. It was, it was a quote, running takeout. <laughs> uh, but it's been sitting outside. Um, everything moves and spins on it. Uh, it's not locked up or anything. The outer bearing looks good. Uh, I think it's going to be okay, but we're going to have to change the fluid in it and everything before we do it. And then someone asked earlier if it's still, if it's cooled off here. No, it's still hot today. Today's the last hot day, but it's only going to be 90 something. Low, no, ni 92. Low 90. Yeah, 92, which is much better. So this, this is going to get added in to reinforce this from here to here. Sorry, is it in the picture now? Now it is, yep. Um, and then the transmission will also mount. This, this is a, a mount that will help. Hi, Paul help hold that transmission up on there. So uh, we have to fab this, this is out of a different bus, so, but it will, to re-strengthen everything because of the modification we made to the bulkhead there. And then we'll also strengthen it laterally once we're done, but we're gonna get the transmission in before we're done with that. Uh, one piece that we do not have, it'll be here Monday, so I can't put the trans in until Monday. Is this is the input shaft that goes in the transmission. They make these in a couple different lengths. Because we're using that three inch spacer and everything moves out, this needs to be longer. We don't have the longer one of these. Uh, so we ordered it from Luke at US Coach, of course, and it'll be here on Monday. So hopefully Monday night or Tuesday morning, we'll have that transmission hanging in here. We also have to have the drive shaft remanufactured. It's already a pretty short drive shaft, but it's it's almost twice as long as what it's gonna be when we're done. Um, so we'll have to take this in and have it shortened up and put in there. I don't know the measurement on it right now. If somebody knows what it's supposed to be, that might save us a little time. Otherwise, we're gonna wait till everything's mounted and then we'll get the tape measure out and measure everything. Is the video quality still good? Because the last thing I wanna do is hear about how it wasn't good when I'm all done. Um, Someone's asking if you would buy a seated vintage bus. They're going too fast now. Great video. Yep, everything's good. Okay. Yeah, so we're using that, that cell phone booster. I just have it hooked. Actually, I got this little uh, car 
charger thing hooked up and it's plugged into there. Um, I can't read what's going on. Sorry. I'm gonna, sorry about that. That was me moving it. Um, we got a few things to take off of there still. So this used to have a Hi. Uh, this used to have a mount here for I believe it was the air conditioning compressor on the RTS. So we're going to actually remove the PTO that's on here. We're going to get rid of this bracket because that won't fit in there. Um, the whole thing is, is just bigger. We also got to add a cooler. Okay, someone was just asking, I didn't see it all because it went by too fast, but asking about if you can look inside and see if there's like shrapnel in there. No, there's, I don't see anything in there. It looks really clean. Um, he's got the original, this is the cable, the shifter cable and shifter tower is here, but we're actually not going to use that. We're going to get an air shifter so that we don't have to run all this cable. It's going to be cheaper, less labor intensive to just make it an air shifter, which is an electronic over air. So it's got a couple switches and wires and it's just, it's fed by air. Somewhere here I have a big, well there'll be a big uh, filter housing that will need to get mounted so that will have a huge transmission filter on it. It's a big filter, it's, it holds like a gallon of fluid. Um, and then there's also a cooling tower, a heat exchanger. So this will exchange, uh, you know, coolant from the radiator will flow through here, and then the high pressure from the transmission also flows through the, to, to cool the, the fluid for the trans. So this whole thing needs to be in there too. So we're really going to lose pretty much any extra space that we had is really going to be taken up in there. But it does fit. I, I worked on a bunch of buses with this already done on them. Um, but this kind of stuff will get added after we get that mounted in there. The flywheel, can you see the flywheel on the ground, Kelly, down there? It's kind just, of dark down there, it's in the shadows. I certainly can't pick it up. Um, it's much larger, much heavier. And then there's a, like a flex plate dampener that goes on there. That bolts to the flywheel and then that's what that input shaft goes in. There's a little spring cup, a little cup and a spring that go inside there too that just keep the tension on that and you must have that as well. Um, so this, this is just, well, you know what it is. It, it, it's a dampener, um, flex plate type of thing. We have new flywheel bolts. We don't want to reuse the flywheel bolts for it. Oh, so we definitely have a big job here. Okay, someone's saying you didn't answer about the seated bus. Oh, what was the question? Would I buy a seated yes. bus? I, I don't have room for one right now or anything to do with it. But, and we wouldn't want to change it from seated. Yeah, no, I don't like to take a vintage coach. If it's a vintage one, if it's something new, and they're, they're a dime a dozen, then change it to an RV or whatever. But if it's an already vintage coach, and somebody you know somebody wants to turn it into a motorhome, I would say find one that's already a motorhome because there's very few of the vintage ones that are left that are still seated. And I think, I think personally, they should still stay that way. Um, on this bus, he's got that air chamber down there. That's his brake. So he only has one. Let's see if I can show this. What's it saying? I can't read it now. Um, uh, right in the corner, you can kind of start to see it over there. Let me, can you point it let me see if I, yeah, I'm, I'm at the end. The, the limit that I have here right now is the cord for my antenna on that. Uh, Booster, but uh, let's see, let me put this in. Got parts everywhere today. So if you look right there, there's just one brake. It's just a 30. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. That brake chamber? Um, right there. So it doesn't have a spring brake. It's just got a one air diaphragm right there. And then they got around that by adding that other one in the back, which is just, just the spring. So it's like this basically split in half, half here and then half back there. But we're going to cut this mount off, move it over so that there's no room physically for this to mount here. So we're gonna change the airbag supports here just a little bit, about two inches in. And then we can add this 30-30 uh, spring brake can. Is that in the video? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's gonna go on here. And then we can eliminate that one in the back that was added later. Because the spring brakes were not invented when this bus came out. There was no such thing. Um, they just had that drive shaft brake, 
which has been disconnected since on here, and we've actually eliminated it completely now. Oh, um, Someone's saying they can't hear you. So sound and video are breaking up. Let me check the booster to see if we still have signal. This person said they can hear well. No break up here, so yeah. We're green over here. Yeah, er everything says it's working here on our side. Okay, so I'm trying to improve this. So yeah, if you uh, just continue, it seems like it's fine. So uh, the rear main seal is supposed to be here today, so I can get in there and pull that out. We're putting a sleeve on the end of the crankshaft as well. Um, Obviously this one was leaking, but even if it wasn't leaking, we would have replaced it anyways, because once you're this far into it, um, you know, you don't want to have to come back and do that again. But you can see how bad that was leaking. When you see a really clean spot and something that's really nasty, that means it was really leaking. <laughs> that hot oil cleaned it all up. So everyone's saying it's fine on their end. Okay. If you're having problems, try to refresh it on your end. And a couple are saying when you're walking farther away, it's harder to hear you. I'll try to talk louder. I had a clip on mic before, but it, 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 it totally ruined a video one day, so I don't want to do that anymore. You better heard me drinking. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so anyways, a lot of work goes into the, the swap on this, and this wasn't something I was planning on doing. I, again, I have to be in Minnesota um, in just over a week now. Uh, so this is, and I have another bus to do in, in before that. So we'll see how it goes. Tyler went ahead and went home today. Since Kelly's here, he took Kelly's car to go back home so he can do some of his work uh, back up at the shop. And then he's going to meet me for that next bus over in uh, Ohio. But it's almost West Virginia where we're going to be. It's like way down in the corner over there somewhere. Um, one thing that we noticed, the positive battery terminal, which is a four-aught cable, that runs to the starter in there. Apparently the clutch lever had been rubbing on it and it's actually rubbed all the way through the casing on it where you actually see the strands. I don't know how it wasn't arcing and sparking. <laughs> Someone said LOL sounded like a bong hit. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it, uh, I don't know how it wasn't arcing out but it's worn all the way through. So this is actually a blessing too that that got noticed around that back side. We got to pull the starter out and put a gasket on the starter because the starter, the flywheel will now be a wet flywheel, which it never used to be. So uh, the starter not having a gasket would cause transmission fluid to leak out of the starter. Um, and hopefully the starter is, most of them are sealed anyways. There's a little O-ring inside where you can't get fluid into the starter itself, but we still have to put a gasket around it to stop it leaking from the mating surface there. Okay, is there a way for me, do you know, to go back and see ones that just yeah, went away? Yeah, you scroll with your finger. I don't want to screw up anything okay. on here. Yep. You um, just if you just touch it here. Someone and was asking right, right. Okay, right here. We're learning, guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, someone's saying they wanted to see the headlights on the Eagle in the other bay. Are those projector beams? So they're talking about this right here. I'll get a shot of that in a minute. Okay. We can come back to that. Remind me of that before we're done. What would you think of a late '40s flexible for a workshop bus? For me. I just ask, what would you think? It'd be too small. I mean, my bus is already small, but the flexes are even smaller than that. And we love our bus. Okay, I think the boss is back. Is that Lance? Uh, I can't, I think so. Um, yeah, if anybody has any questions real quick, I'll answer them. Otherwise, we're gonna, we're gonna head out here. I will show the Eagle headlights before we're done. And he got me to get on board this because I'm not in front of the camera. <laughs> Because no, I'm not selling anybody my dirty, sweaty clothes after I work on a bus with Scott. Because <laughs> that's just creepy. Yeah, yeah, that's somebody said that. Where's um, is he coming? Lance is right here. We're live. I saw. Oh, I'm commenting. Yep. Is Ethan gonna be on YouTube? Might be. <laughs> you didn't hear you, P. Someone's asking if you check the trans bands. No, we haven't had anything open on that thing at all. We're, we're going under the word of the people that we bought it from that it was a running working trans when it came out. Um, and if not, all this modification work will be done anyway. So if the, if next time if it's got to come out and another one go back in, 90% of the work. 
Yeah, 80% of the work is already done. Okay, someone's asking what a jag break is. A what? Jag break, I, I believe break. is what it said. Oh, jake break? Maybe that's what it's supposed to say? No. Yeah. It says jag on here, so. Yeah, I, I don't know. They're probably talking about a jake break or they're just being an idiot. I have no I idea, but um, sure? Google it. Sure. <laughs> it's just, it's yeah, he, he means jag. It's an exhaust valve break. And then someone's asking, oops, sorry, here. Did I miss the size yeah. comparison between the original manual trans and the new auto? Yes. Yes, it's a big difference. Yeah, it is huge. Uh, here, turn it over here. Okay, hopefully it won't be too shaky when I turn it. This is the new. So next to me, I mean, uh, I can't even reach out to the other side there. And even depth-wise, you know, it's almost the end of my fingers there. And if you want to turn over to that one, just this little tiny thing right here. This is the mouse trap. Much smaller. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> this is uh, Ethan. He's been cleaning parts today. Uh. <laughs> That's your youngest, right, Lance? Yep. Oh. Okay. So, anyways, this is the the mess that we have right now, and we're still waiting on we're waiting on parts that were supposed to come yesterday that didn't, and we got another shipment that was coming in today. And then more parts coming in on Monday. Yeah, there's parts at the house. Do you need them? Um, well, I, like the rear main seal should be at the house. I can get that in, but that's no big deal. I, I'll just do it when, if you bring it tomorrow or whatever. So, okay, everything's getting cleaned up. We're going, and then, I, oh, I'll show those headlights. I have no idea what, do you know what's up with Bill's headlights on here? They're new. I just installed them. Well, there's something funky. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're like projection beams or something. Yeah, they're a little bit of everything. Yeah, they're projection. There's, uh... HIDs, they're everything. They're amazing. Has he turned them on for you? No, I haven't seen them. Somebody would just was asking the question. Yeah, they, they noticed it. I hadn't even paid attention to them. No, oh, they're ridiculous. Do you know how much they were at all or anything? Not much. But oh. It took a couple of days to put them in, uh, just to wire them up and stuff. This is like on a Prevo. This one focuses. These are just amazing. So we can ask Bill. Yeah, we'll ask Bill it? if anybody has any questions about that. We'll find out. But I've never seen those before. Um, most buses that I work on have round headlights, so we, we don't have those kinds of options really available yet. This is pretty cool. These, uh, then he cut these out. These are the reflectors, and they cut the center out, and they put those in. Those are like super bright. Oh, they like, <laughs> they're not DOT legal, but they're amazing. I forget what they're called, but they, pro, they go out there. Oh. So overall, the, the new booster... Yes, no, worked good for the live stream here in the shop. What do you think? Yes, okay, well, that's what we'll try to do in the future. What I need to do is make my antenna much longer for that, and then I can get it to, I can really go into the shop and stuff. So that, that'll be my plan, because a lot of times we get inside, nobody's ever got Wi-Fi out in their garages and their barns and stuff, so I'm always gonna be using the cell phone. Just saw a uh, fly by when I want to know when we're coming to Finland. Oh, Put yeah. that on the schedule. Yeah. Uh, as soon as you start a GoFundMe, then I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Hey, thanks everybody for watching, um, and I'll I'll keep you updated on the on the progress here. Not a whole lot's going to get done this weekend, but Monday is really going to be the day when things start to to come together. So thank thank you very much.